Hey guys, um, so this is just another one of the comparisons between the N9 and the Lumia. This is going to be just a uh, general support applications, you know, what comes preloaded, um, things you might use every day but you don't really think about, um, such as like, let's just say the alarms, the calendar, the um, calculator, notes, etc. So I'm just going to take a look at a bunch of them and uh, see what comes up. I really haven't thought this thing completely through, so it might be a bit unorganized, so bear with me. Anyways, um, so let's just start out with the clocks, alarms. Um, essentially, I, I don't, I'm pretty sure 90% 90, 90 of people out there stop using alarm clocks and just rely on their cell phones, which is a great substitute. So it's a really important issue for me. I use my Lumia as my everyday alarm, and uh, I set it up to wake me up for school, reminders, everything. And, um, well, to be honest, the UI, I'm just going to say this, the UI on the, sorry, let's go to clock. The UI on the M9 clock is really nice. It's really, it's, it's smart, but at the same time, it's extremely stupid. And the same goes for Lumia as well. It takes, it takes some, it takes too much effort to set a simple alarm. So let's say, for example, I want to set an alarm for, okay, pretend that these alarms aren't here. I want to set an alarm for, um, let's say, 7.30, okay? So on the, on the M9, I'm going to go, on the Lumia, so I'm going to go to alarms, new, 7. I get the little pop-up scroll screen here, and I can scroll between them. Okay, so I put it at 7. Go to 7.30. I have to scroll all the way through all 60 digits to get to 30. And then I choose AM or PM. Now, that might seem like a lot of trouble, and that, that's not it. I do, I do a check mark. And then I have to save. So that's two confirmations to save a single alarm, which is, I, I don't like that at all. But in the N9, it's even worse, where the clock, it's really nice and everything, but I want to add a new alarm, right? Let's say I want to set it for, it's already on AM. So just to show you how difficult it is, I want to set it to 7.30 PM. So I drag the thing, it's on 7, right? Except there is no toggle to switch AM or PM. I have to go all the way around the alarm cycle again, go to 7, and then turn this thing to 7.30. So you see what you have to do. You have to go all the way around. You have to go a complete circle cycle to get from 6.30 PM to 6.30 AM. You have to go all the way around instead of just having a little AM PM toggle and then save. So just the thing I don't like about it is because usually I set these alarms when I'm waking up in the middle of the night and I really don't want to do seven cycles of an alarm clock. I just want tap, tap, and it's set. Probably between these, I think none of these would be the optimal answer. The best option would just be the normal Simeon 3 alarm where you type it in, type it in, AM, PM, toggle, that's it. It's much simpler. I mean, the the idea behind the N9s is really smart. I, I really clever. I like the dial, the rotating thing, but it's just not, it's not user friendly. What to say? Yeah, that's not, it's not user friendly. Sorry about the glare. Um, there's a lot of sunlight behind me. That's the only way to get a good filming. So anyways, that's for alarms and uh, let's just turn off alarms so I don't wake up. All right. And then for notes, um, the N9 has a default notes app, of course, and notes is one thing I use a lot just to track, keep track of random things. You know, maybe I catch a show, want to remind myself something, uh, a song I hear on the radio, I just save it as a note. So the N9's note is pretty cool. Um, it's almost like a full, fully functioning word. You have the underlined, bold, italic text, and then you can even change your font from a whole lot of fonts out there, which is, I, I really like this feature a lot. You have like a billion fonts and you can just choose what you want. And of course, everyone's going to choose Comic Sans and start typing. You can change the font size and you can change the font color. So that's really cool. It's like a, and as you can see, I'm typing in Comic Sans. Yay. Everyone loves Comic Sans. So anyways. That's the notes on the M9. I really like it a lot. It's uh, really functional. It gives your basic notes a little extra boost. On the Win on the Lumia, on Windows Phone doesn't actually have a notes app per se. It has something called, it's part of the Microsoft Office, and it is called 
No, it's a notes part inside it where it syncs your notes between online and the rest of your Lumi devices. So when I tried out the N9, when I tried the N9 on, the, sorry, when I tried the Lumi 900, uh, my brain is a mess. When I tried the Lumi 900 in uh, in Spain, the second I signed in, all my notes from the Lumi 800 got booted onto that one. So I really liked that. It was a, uh, you know, it's easy to keep track of things. It it replaced. Evernote, which um, I don't know if you guys know, it's like a note syncing server between PC and phones and tablets and stuff. So I think Office Notes like kind of replaced that for me. So anyways, um, you can just add a new note. And this is also super functional. Of course, you have your Windows Phone keyboard. You have some, you can add uh, check boxes, as you can see over here, check boxes. Like if I want to do to, to do, sorry, to do by a storm trooper. Anyways, let's not bother correcting that. So hopefully I can check this off very soon. And you can even add bullets to the note. Bullet, bullet, bulletins, whatever points, whatever you want to call them. Um, you can add media to the you can add media to the note. You can have you can add images or um, whatever you want, or you can capture an image and add it directly to the note. So let's just capture an image of the M9. Accept. And now it's part of my note, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, you have the Windows Phone voice control. So testing, one, two, three, testing. And uh, it saves an audio note as well. So that's pretty cool, um, you know, useful feature. And this one issue, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or not. Sorry. If I'm doing something wrong with my notes or not, but it seems that it doesn't say, I can't save a note unless I have a internet connection, which isn't a problem for me because I have a data plan or whatever, but um, it could be an issue if I'm trying to save a note on the subway, uh, probably it won't work. And then of course you can also change your bold, italics, strike out and change the highlight color. Or you can, I'm sorry, you can highlight stuff. Uh, let's tap this. And then you go format, highlight, and now it's highlighted in yellow. So anyways, that's the notes on both of them. They're both pretty useful. And as I said, these are synced directly online, which is good and not good at the same time. And in case you're wondering what this is, this is just a list of music I'm writing up from Mix Radio. It's a pretty useful thing. Side product. Anyways, um, so that's the notes. Uh, another feature I use a lot is audio recording. I use it to record lectures and, uh, you know, listen to them later. Unfortunately, neither of the phones support audio recording out of the box. Um, there are some options on both of them. Um, on Windows Phone, I use um, Pocket Recorder, which unfortunately, I, try, I used it for a bit, but it turns out I can't the option to copy my um, records onto my PC is broken, so it became useless. I used, I started using aud audio recorder instead. And on the N9 there was one, but I don't know, I tried downloading it the other day and um, it just, uh, it wasn't downloading. So I don't know, but there, there are some options on the M9 store as well. Um, once again, Symbian wins in that side where it has a default audio recorder pre-built in it with its um, one hour time limit or whatever. So. That's um, audio recording. Now, the other thing is you have calculators, just for, you know, calculations, obviously. The N9 has a nice, simple calculator. Whatever. Normal calculations, plus, minus, divide, etc. And on Windows Phone, you have the same calculator. But I think it was in Symbian as well, where you once you turn it, you get a full scientific calculator with um, tan and cosine and sine and degree, radian, gradients, pi, etc. So um, pretty useful feature, you know, in case you're stuck in class or something, you need a calculator. You got your Windows Phone scientific calculator. Also, um, let's see what other features I was going to talk about. Sorry, I totally forgot. Yes, calendar, calendar. Calendar, Windows Phone, Windows Phone syncs my calendar agenda with my Facebook events, my Gmail, my, my any, any events for any accounts I have linked, it'll sync them. While on the N9, it seems to sync my um, Skype birthdays and um, 
I'm not sure what it's it syncs Skype birthdays and Gmail accounts, but not Facebook. So as you can see right here on my on my uh, Windows Phone agenda, it's pretty full. You know, all the events, whatever, from Facebook events. While on the N9, where's the calendar? You have um, just a couple events a month, and of course you have the switch views between daily, uh, weekly and monthly, and that's the month view. While on the Luma you have the same same options. And just one piece of information about the Lumia, it's like a Easter egg, I guess that's what you could call it. Um, if you focus really close on a thing, I, I highly doubt it's gonna show here, but you see that little text on every box over there? That actually says, greetings from Seattle, I think. It says, yeah. Um, not sure, I forgot the exact wording, but I read, I've read i checked it out and I've seen it online before. It says something about Seattle, which is where Windows is based. So it's just a little Easter egg inside the thing. So anyways, that's the calendar on both. They're both pretty useful, but the, as I said, the Lumia syncs my Facebook event as well. So it's pretty cool. And um, uh, the other feature which it's not really comparison because the Lumia does not have it yet, is the mobile Wi-Fi hotspot, which is just sharing your data plan with another device. And uh, of course, I'm, I'm sure everyone knows what it is. Um, and as you probably heard, the Lumia is getting updates soon. It's already been pushed for the 800C in China. So this will be getting it soon. It's already on the N9. But anyways, you have just let's look at the settings options on the N9. You have you can choose your network name, encryption mode. You can just add a key. Okay, and you have advanced settings. Just um, so it gives you some functionality. I'm not I haven't really tested it because I there's no SIM inside this thing currently. But uh, yeah, it's it's a nice feature, and I know a lot of people are asking for it. Um, it's not as big of a feature here because data plans are expensive and they're not exactly fast. I mean, they're not, they're relatively cheap, but it's, uh, they're relatively slow as well. So it's not as useful as having an unlimited 4G, um, uh, sorry, LTE plan that you can just connect all your devices at home at. So there's a, you know, it's not, a, it's not a requested feature here, but I know it's a big feature in the US, which is why I guess the, N9, the 900 launched with it. So anyways, um, I think that's about it for now. I'll probably gonna do, um, one more comparison between the maps as recent as I think yesterday just um, Nokia Transport uh, was released for the N9 you know I can't use that here but I'll try getting a look at it and um, I'm trying to do a comparison of the phone functions and I'll get to that later once I find out uh, once I find get another sim just to put in the N9 to test, test it out um, so that's about it uh, if you have any other suggestions of things you want to see, just comment and uh, go ahead and subscribe, please. Thank you.